six-time All-American, eight-time SEC champion, SEC scholar athlete, national champion. Dorian Allray has just about done it all, USA and World Championships, SEC Championships, and NCAA Championships, but after the final SEC competition of his storied career in Athens, Georgia, Allray can now add SEC Commissioner's Trophy winner to his resume. The senior from Port Byron, Illinois, became just the third Razorback to win both the 800 and the 1500 meter run in an SEC Championship meet, helping his Hogs earn their 98th SEC event title in program history. Adding those feats to his fourth place finish in the 5,000 meter run, Allray got to hoist not only the outdoor SEC trophy, but the commissioner's trophy awarded to the top individual scorer as well. That's always a cool thing. Um, it's, it's not expected. You don't train to win the commissioner's trophy. You know, you don't, you don't work out on a daily basis thinking, oh, maybe I could win the commissioner's trophy someday. Um, it, just, it just sort of happens. And, and it was just like the 800. You know, I just, I lined up to run the best race I possibly could. And, and when you do that three times in a matter of two hours, it makes winning the Commissioner's Trophy a little bit easier uh, than some of the guys who only competed twice. But it, it was fun uh, to be able to get the team victory, to have two individual victories, and then to get the Commissioner's Trophy on top of that. It really showed our strength as a whole. And um, it was a lot of fun to be able to, to hoist that trophy up. Well, you know, Dorian, um, <laughs> You know he's he's um, he's a special kid. There's no question about it. I think he he ranks he ranks up there with some of the other great middle distance runners that have competed here at Arkansas because more than anything he cares about the team and he and he was able to to run a 15. He was able to run an eight and prelims in both of those. Do it in the finals. Upset the national champion, Fred Samoy from Alabama, who won the national indoor title. Um, our guys behind them ran really good, Bill Brew and Junk Duncan. Um, uh, Momo, those guys were in the mix. And, um, and then to turn around and try to run 5,000 meters, you know, that would be equivalent to having a sprinter try to run a mile. Okay? Um, it's... it's it's tough, you know, to to run that run that 800, win it, and then turn around and have to run three miles on the track again an hour later. And you know that's why he's special. That's why he ranks up there with with Seneca and, and James Caranu and <clears throat> the dozens of other guys because he he went and did it in three events. And um, uh, and we're proud of him for that. He could have done two and sat out the 5K. But he he wanted the team to win, so that's what makes him special, and that's that's those are those are good memories that he'll have. To to go one two three in the fifteen hundred was something we had talked about, but not expected. Um, it was kind of wishful thinking, and so to actually do it was phenomenal. To to finish first and turn around and see your teammates come in two three right behind you is is something you you kind of dream about and. And then, you know, lightning struck twice with the disqualification of Fred Samoy, the indoor national champion at 800 meters. We did it again an hour later. And it was just deja vu. Um, it was one of the greatest ways to, to go out uh, on top as an SEC athlete, an Arkansas Razorback. And, you know, my last championship to, to do it that way was, was unimaginable. While the SEC Outdoor Championship and the Commissioner's Trophy were a major success, Allray and the Hogs still have work to do. Arkansas sends 20 athletes to Eugene, Oregon this week in the 2011 NCAA West Prelims, the first round of the NCAA Championships.